to bring it back to January 20th and the match in San Antonio. Um, this is something that's been getting on my nerves quite a bit here lately, quite a bit. Um, I do want to I do want to comment on the fact that ticket literacy in our country is at an all time low. It is just at all time that, that the amount of number one, the amount of people saying, I looked up Copa America tickets at five hundred thousand dollars tagging U.S. soccer, U.S. soccer. What are you going to do about this? Tagging, tagging my goat, JT Batson. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? he He's trying to have a nice vacation or whatever, a nice holiday. And it's like, bro, the, the Copa America tickets have not come out. You know what I'm saying? They, they have not been released, sir. And and U.S. Uh, soccer is not going to have anything to do with them. Yeah. Yeah. If if, if your dumb ass was going to press buy on them $500, $1,000 tickets, good luck getting into to, to Jerry World or whatever the hell you was going to try and do on that day when the game did come. Because – let me tell you what you weren't doing. You, you weren't getting in the stadium. Yeah, you, you were getting scammed, sir. And uh, I bring this up for this game because I saw, I mean, we all love Edgar. We all love Edgar. But I saw a tweet from Edgar that was like, tickets for the for this match in San Antonio are $250, $500. U.S. soccer, what are you doing about this? Blah, blah, blah. The tickets were sold out. These were resale tickets, guys. I mean, I know yeah. everybody wants to blame everything on the U.S. Soccer Federation. If you if you need a primer on how to buy tickets to get to a U.S. Men's National Team game, please hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Come to Louisville. I, I'm available uh, for your convenience. You, you can webinar. hit me up on Twitter. Yeah, you should, I'll, do, you I'll, should I'll actually do a, do a webinar. That would be because I've I I will. I had watch it once. It was hard. <laughs> do it. I, I will do a webinar. I, well, 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 Waki, that was that was that Mexico game in Cincinnati. I mean, that that was, you know, and actually, it wasn't hard. Max in Montana, just <laughs> so I was about to say, like, like demand is is never that high, but but yeah, shout out Max. Um, matter of fact, me and Max might host this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. can. That it's a great reason to be a member of the Discord. Uh, pre-sale codes come out early and often. They get shared. You can get in there, get your tickets. You can get tickets for face value, face value for a U.S. soccer uh, ticket. For the most, uh, you can get in. You can get in for seventy dollars, seventy-five dollars with fees, with fees for the most part. Now, some people might say, "Hey, so, hey I got a family of of eighteen. That's a little bit too rich for me, buddy. I I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to. That's the thing people always come. Stop in. having <laughs> kids, bro." Seventy dollars? How am I supposed to get my family a six in the? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't know what to tell you, sir, ma'am. Uh, maybe leave. You know, the the junior at home. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. But you can you can get in for about seventy dollars. You can also join the American Outlaws and, and get tickets with them. The thing about these soccer specific stadiums is there is not a bad ticket in these soccer specific stadiums. You can just get you can get in anywhere. You can sit up high, get a tactical view. You can sit in the you can sit in the end zones. If you sit high enough in the end zone, you also have your nice little tactical view of the match. Okay, people, I need y'all to understand. And if you see, if you get on a ticket app, Ticketmaster, and you see verified resale ticket, that means that ticket is not is out of the control of US soccer. That ticket has been bought, and this person is selling said ticket for a profit. This webinar could be a banger. Yeah, it's 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 gotten on my nerves to this point. I've seen at least fifteen tweets about Copa America tickets being expensive as hell, and then and then when I saw this one about this damn January camp match, first of all, you ain't even go to the damn January camp match. You just want to complain about this. Everybody want to complain about the roster, and then all of a sudden you want to complain about the tickets too. You know what I'm saying? Pick a struggle, pick a struggle. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) 